So a lot of people ask if you get nervous or scared when you're working at height. What you learn through extensive training and time on rope that you trust your gear, you trust your setup, you go nice and slow and steady, you make sure that everything is rigged properly, and it takes all the fear out of it. So we've got a crew of seven based out of Denver. Um, all trained bridge inspection team leaders and assistants who are out here inspecting the Michael Callahan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge. We've been able to rely on ScanTech to provide a resourceful and accurate uh, testing and assessment of the bridge. In addition to that, uh, ScanTech has really been a partner to us, uh, part of the NDOT family in helping us provide engineering services and, uh, and making sure the bridge is functioning as it should be. The structure is a, uh, an open spandrel arch. We actually are able to, using our rope access, inspect the spandrel columns, the columns on all the approach spans, the arch, the interior of the arch, where we're actually on rope inside the arch, um, going all the way down to the skew backs and back. This bridge is just under 1,000 feet, off of, right above river level. So when you're out there at the middle of the bridge, at center span, and you look down, you're looking about a fifth of a mile down to the river. You know, nine times out of 10, the bridges are in great shape. We're just going through that routine inspection, making sure we're documenting any deterioration that's happening so that we can program for that, that maintenance or that rehabilitation down the road. But when you do find that, the flaw in that bridge that could potentially be serious, we're there to catch it. Bridge inspection program all started with the catastrophic collapse of the Silver Bridge. And when that happened, they realized that America's infrastructure needed to be looked at, and some portions of it were crumbling. And that led to the bridge inspection program. What we do, I mean, nine times out of 10, we're inspecting bridges within our own communities or within our own state. And you'd be amazed how many bridges you drive over on a daily basis and don't even realize that you're on a bridge. So our job out there is to keep our neighbors safe. It is to keep our, our, that community that we live and reside in safe. 